say some of the supply found here was headed to horse tracks and arrived from Mexico. In her decades breeding horses, Bridget Brandon says this is far too common. A lot of these things are used in small doses that aren't lethal to the animals but numbs the pain, allowing them to perform at a high level. Now, with the amount of money on the line, Brandon says there are people who will go to extremes to get a leg up on the competition. Different um, natural herbs or perhaps the snake venom, spider venom, they might reduce uh, muscle soreness or lactic acid or um, help or horses will get you know, ulcers that will be very painful for their stomachs and it might come up from nerves. So they, you know, look for things to help reduce their pain, which will help them perform better. Now, Brandon says this can create more serious injuries for animals down the line because they're only masking the pain. You can always get local stories right here on YouTube, but go ahead and hit that subscribe button to get notifications to stay in the know.